Baltimore, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina and today I want to show you what's in my travel crochet bag. I have a flight in a few hours and here I am filming a video, but it's alright because I packed everything last night and prepared. Okay, this is the bag of crochet things I'm going to bring on my trip, um, but before I open it up, I really quickly want to show you some things I got in the mail recently. So right here I have two bottles of perfume um, from Dossier, which they very kindly gifted me. And in case you haven't heard of Dossier, let me tell you about them really quick. Dossier reproduces classic luxury scents at a fraction of the price. So you can smell like luxury without paying the luxury price. The two scents I got were Fruity Honey and Citrus Peony. Fruity Honey is inspired by Joe Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey, which retails for $144. But with Dossier, you can get the same scent for just $29. Now the other scent, such as Peony, it is inspired by Dior's Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I just happened to have a sample of Blooming Bouquet. I compared the two scents and I have to say, they smell extremely similar. It has a very slight difference in scent, but I have to say, if anything, I like dossiers such as Peony even more. Now in terms of price, Dior's Blooming Bouquet retails for $85 but Dossier's Citrus Peony is only $29. What a steal. Now between these two, Fruity Honey has to be my favorite, but in case you're not in love with the scent, Dossier does have free returns and exchanges, which is amazing. I love that. If you're interested in checking out Dossier, lucky for you, you can get up to 30% off your first order, and this is with the up to 20% off welcome offer that they give to everyone, as well as the 10% off you can get with my code KARINA10. Um, just apply this at checkout and you'll get up to 30% off your first order. And lastly, Dossier has a new payment method that allows you to earn store credit. So just select catch at the last step of checkout and you'll earn a $10 sign-on bonus credit. And after that, you'll get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order. Phew, that was a lot of talking, but um, now I'm going to show you what's in my crochet travel bag. Um, this bag is pretty standard for what I would bring on any trip or even if I'm just leaving the house for like a few hours. Um, I'll bring my crochet stuff whenever I'm going to the beach or hanging out with people and I know there will be downtime or um, when I'm going on trips, like road trips or flying. It's really nice having a hobby that I can bring with me to places because then I don't get bored and also if I want to avoid social interaction, I have something to kind of keep me busy. Okay, I'm just gonna go from the top to bottom. First thing I'm pulling out is my little crochet hook bag or my, I don't know, my tool bag. So this bag and almost everything in it actually came in a set and it was a gift, a very thoughtful gift um, that I tried to look up but actually doesn't exist on Amazon anymore. So unfortunately you can't have the exact same set but I will link some similar items below so you can make your own if you need one. Okay, opening the bag, the first thing I have here is a tape measure. It's a very standard tape measure. It has inches as well as centimeters, um, so it's double-sided. It looks like this. It's sort of a plasticky material, so it's, um, I would say, at least water resistant. But yeah, tape measure, can't go wrong with it. It's great when I'm traveling and for measuring clothes or anything that I need to measure. <laughs> Okay, next up we have my pair of scissors. This actually did not come with a set, but um, I, it fits in here anyway, so I leave it in there. They are from Scotch and they're just your classic like kid craft scissors. <laughs> next thing we're pulling out are the darning, ne darning needles. Why couldn't I say darning needle? Okay, I have this tube of darning needles and the set actually came with the tube and all of these darning needles, let me just show you. There are a lot in here and they all have varying um, like eye sizes, like the holes. So yeah, there's a close up look of them. 
as you can see some of them are longer some of them are shorter and they have varying eye sizes i usually just use the bigger ones and it's great for up to like definitely a weight four yarn i cannot put my chunky yarn through this um, but when i need to sew things with chunky yarn i'll just use my um my crochet hook for that okay so there are my darning needles next up here is a bag of um, stitch mark stitch markers i cannot talk today so my bag of stitch markers i had so many before and the set came with a lot but i only have a few in this bag right now um, including one safety pin that didn't come with a set i just use it as a um a stitch marker every now and then yeah i have these plastic stitch markers you can find these all over this one came with my set um but you, oops you can also find some at um hobie hobie.com and those are super thick and durable which i really like um, again i will link these products in the description in case you want them and try them yourself so uh, yeah um Okay, last but not least in this bag are all of my crochet hooks. So this set came with all of these crochet hooks and they range from like, I think a 2.25 up to a 10 millimeter hook, which was really nice as a beginner because I had no idea what size hooks I wanted to use. Um, and I wanted to do different projects from plushies to like clothing and all that So this set has been a game changer for me. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm missing a few from here I think I used it for other projects and they're lying around somewhere But um, there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen There are at least 13 hooks in this set, but after crocheting for a while I think the most used sizes I use are the 10 millimeter four millimeter, those are my top two, and then probably like five after that. But for most projects, I think a four or five millimeter is good for acrylic yarn, cotton yarn. Um, and then for bulkier projects, you'll use something anywhere between like a six to 10. But for the super chunky yarn, I use a 10 millimeter. And for let's say woolies, I would use like around a seven millimeter. So yeah, these are all my crochet hooks. Again, I wish that this whole set was still on Amazon, but it's not. Um, luckily, you can get all the separate um, components by itself, and then you'll have a super similar set to this. I think the biggest difference is the little pouch that comes with the set. Um, I couldn't find a match to this, but I'm sure you could use any type of pencil case and it will work just fine. <laughs> okay, now on to the rest of the bag. It's mostly yarn. Um, I have a few colors of Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. Um, let's see, we have bay leaf, this, like, I forgot what color this one is, but it's like an ivory color, and we have... I think this is coffee beans. Yep, yeah, this is coffee beans. These are what the colors look like. Um, coffee bean actually doesn't look like exactly what I imagined. It looks a little purple and I expected it to be more of a dark brown. So that's a little different, but it's still a pretty color. I think that next time I would actually get the, I think it's called Cafe a lot or something I don't speak French but um, it's somewhere along the lines of that and it's a lighter brown it's definitely like a true brown this one is a little bit purple and I'm not sure why so yeah these are the colors I have I'm gonna make wristlets um, for like keys I have some in the back right here let me show you what it looks like so it looks like this I actually use this for my keys now and I'm making a whole bunch because I am actually thinking about opening a shop and selling at markets. So stay tuned for that very soon. Um, I'm going to be selling things like this as well as plushies I make 
and probably keychains. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I am very excited to launch this. Um, yeah, I don't know, stay tuned. <laughs> Speaking of wristlets, the next thing I have in here is also keychains. Um, so these are gold little keychain and lobster clasps. Well, lobster clasps that I found on Amazon. And these in general are actually kind of thinner than I expected. Um, I'm used to thicker keychain clasps. But I've been using my keychain clasp for a few months now and it's holding up very good. So I, I feel like these will be fine, but I like the aesthetic of the thicker metal. So if you have any like suggestions for other suppliers, then please let me know in the comments or email me or DM me on Instagram because I would be happy to have that information. <laughs> Getting to the bottom of this bag, um, there are just a few more things in here. First up, we have this yarn and this whip, this project I have going on. Um, the yarn is the Lion Brand True Boo. No, this video is not sponsored by Lion Brand. I just truly like a lot of their yarns. And True Boo is a... Um, 100% rayon from bamboo. This yarn is super super soft and it has a little bit of a shine on the outside, which I love. It, ha it also has a really nice drape as you can maybe see. I made um, I made a little front tie cardigan out of it. So you can see the drape is amazing and I love it. And right now I'm making a, a bottom to go with the cardigan. Okay, the last two things we have in here are related to um, the purple project I'm doing. So I have the crochet hook I'm using for it. This is the 3.25 millimeter hook. And this is my like sort of example for what I want my project to look like. This is the basic shape. Um, so it's just a triangle. I'm gonna make a triangle, but it's gonna be like netted and like mesh. So yeah. Um, and that's it. The only other thing is this bag. And this bag I got from my order um, from lovecrafts.com. Their yarn comes in these little mesh bags, which I think is so cute. And you can use them as project bags. I think that was super cute. Okay, we reached the end of the bag and I should probably get ready to go to the airport now. So I'll leave you with this. If you enjoy this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more crocheting content or any other things, I'm going to post some small business content pretty soon. So you can look forward to that. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at peachy underscore bits for crochet content or at actually Karina for more lifestyle content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.